Okay, boys and girls, it's that time again. Welcome back to Uncle Red's channel. Let's get serious here. In this video, we're gonna be breaking down UFC 305's main event. And we got Israel Adesanya versus Dreykus Duplicius. But first, boys and girls, this video is brought to you by Prize Picks. It's so simple. And this weekend is UFC 305, and Prize Picks has a free square. All Izzy Adesanya has to do is land one significant strike, and you win that square. Win or lose, every new user who plays, a $5 lineup will receive $50 instantly. It's a guaranteed win. This new promotion provides unbeatable value, making it a no-brainer for my people. Go to the App Store, download Prize Picks, pick more or less on your favorite players in the NBA, NHL, UFC for the chance to win 100 times your money. Available in states like Texas, California, and 30 more, plus Canada. Code TIMBO and be on the lookout for my final picks this week ufc 305 let's get into the video we got israel adesanya stands at a solid 6 4. he's 35 years old now and he's 24 and 3. he's one and two in his last three fights he lost that de unanimous decision to sean strickland september 9th 2023 dang near exactly a year ago and before that in my opinion one of the sweetest moments to ever happen in the ufc is when Izzy knocked out Al Pereira. The backstory, everything that went along with it, the pressure of the fight. April 8th, 2023 is when he cracked uh, Pereira with the right hand and uh, slept him, KO'd him. One of the nastiest moments in UFC history, but he's taken on a serious rival here in Dreykus Duplicius who is on a seven fight win streak in the UFC. January 20th, 2024, he beat Sean Strickland by split decision. And I'm pretty sure he's one of the only guys to finish Robert Whitaker. TKO in the second round, that was a, a big, crazy, surprising fight for everyone. And Dreykus is 30 years old and he's six foot, 185 pounds. Both their last fights, war versus sean strickland dreykus he is uh 21 and 2. he's got nine ko's and 10 submissions so he usually is a finisher he's got 21 wins with 19 finishes let's take a peek real quick here we're gonna go back and look at dreykus versed versus strickland Okay, so I was pumped up for this fight. This was a this was a big fight. We're gonna we're gonna cruise into round four or five here and watch. This is the beginning of round four. Orthodox, orthodox. Dreykus kind of switches it up. He's not like super. He doesn't have a crazy like good rhythm to him, athletic rhythm to him. But he is just a ball of muscle, and he's got a crazy gas tank. Ever since they said he got his nose fixed. Because you see in his earlier fights in the first second round, he's just huffing and puffing. But this fight, he goes five rounds against Strickland, who's got a great gas tank too, and they go tit for tat here. Orthodox, orthodox. And Dreykus isn't like, when you watch him, it's not like, wow, he's just a clean striker. He's just a thick, durable, athletic, young, hungry dude. And he's switching stances a lot. Switching stances a lot. Strickland's got a little bit cut open. One, two, stepping forward. Even when he's throwing his one-twos, he throws them kind of with his chin up. He, he's definitely there to be hit. And when he does walk forward, when he does walk forward and squares up his stance, I mean, that's something Izzy could probably look at. Similar to when Sean knocked out Aljo. Walking forward when you're throwing your twos. The distance is so different in, in, in MMA than a boxing match. In a boxing match, you rarely see someone fall forward all the way into an opposite stance from a big right hand. In MMA, you see it a lot because there's so much space between each other. To reach the person, you really have to kind of almost like lunge into them, and sometimes you end up falling into the opposite stance, which can leave you open to um, a counter punch if the other guy's good enough to do that. Orthodox here, parrying his jab, stepping in, and Strickland's going for the body lock, and Dreykus goes to re-wrestle. That was beautiful there, that was beautiful. Let's go back and look at this here. Strickland kind of falls into a body lock. He 
yeah, Dreykus does switch up stances. But Strickland's not like a pinpoint knockout guy. He He's more of an output, break you down, break you, make you tired, not take off the pressure. Israel Adesanya is more of a pinpoint striker. So I know you want to do MMA math and stuff, but MMA math, it just doesn't work. This is going to be a different fight, Dreykus versus Izzy. Okay, so he falls into double unders. That's a good deep double unders to where low on his back too, where he should be able to finish. But look at Dreykus, re-pummels, gets his hips back, gets an over under, gets his hands locked. Hooks his leg, boom, and puts him on his back. Puts him on his back, fourth round, beautiful uh, takedown there. And Strickland builds up. Strickland builds up against the fence, peeling the thumb. Peeling the thumb, peeling the thumb, trying to separate the hands here. A lot of pressure on the grip. And uh, Strickland breaks the grip. And Dreykus breaks off. Here we go. Southpaw Orthodox now. Doesn't look like there's any rhyme or reason he does it. Steps forward in Orthodox into right hand, throws right hand. Looks like he just switches when he feels like it. And then walks forward two to a double jab two. And they're slugging here, boys. Let's see another takedown, how he gets into it. Okay, so he just shoots a double. Head inside, double. Runs him back to the fence and just runs his feet. In the fourth round, too, that's going to take some serious horsepower, running through a double leg like that, and he does. Runs through the double leg, gets the finish against the fence. Strickland cut open a bit, and now Strickland's back to his feet, peeling the thumbs, peeling the thumbs, peeling the grip. chest high and Strickland here is trying to separate the hands trying to separate the hands Dreykus decides to let go and punch off it really nice really nice okay so we're here we're in the fifth and they're digging deep they're digging deep here it just shows you how crazy and good a shape of an athlete um Dreykus is because everyone knows how good Sean Strickland is and how good of a boxer he is and how he breaks people and bullies people but he wasn't able to really bully Dreykus because Dreykus would mix in these takedowns He'd mix in these takedowns, make Strickland kind of stop Strickland from coming forward a little bit because he's always worried about getting takedown and fighting off the takedown. And they're scrapping here. 10 seconds left. Hell of a battle here. Hell of a battle. Split decision. A lot of people said that could go the other way. Some judge judges probably scored those takedowns for for more than others so hard to say so let's take a peek here at israel adesanya for sean strickland yeah everyone including me thought izzy was probably going to knock out sean strickland just for how much he swats and just for how fast israel adesanya is and how accurate it is and how confident it is but he just had izzy's number the checks he was doing the sw the swatting at the punches um izzy said he heard eric nixick in the in the corner calling out what combos he wanted through and he said that affected him he's like the coach was calling out the left high kicks coming left high kicks coming and uh sean strickland was ready for it just constant constant pressure and it's so easy easier said than done like oh yeah a fancy striker like this pressure him pressure him pressure him it's so much harder than you think but izzy does a great job of it checking really high he, he doesn't let he doesn't let Israel Adesanya land barely any kicks. This kick he caught, a lot of them he was checking really high with that lead leg, and he was able to stand really tall here and check really, really tall here because he knows Israel Adesanya wasn't going to take him down. With Dreykus, he was probably a little bit more hesitant to be checking with that lead leg as much, where Dreykus can blow him off his feet in a double leg or time the takedown. See, and Izzy did have him reacting to feints too, swat and reacting to, to feints. But Izzy couldn't land anything to get Sean Strickland's respect enough to stop pressuring him. 
when you when you got someone pressuring you this hard you have to throw something to crack them to just make them a little bit hesitant from coming forward and israel wasn't able to land anything son strickland's defense was so good and his eyes were so sharp on this night that he blocked everything so it's going to be a completely different fight. It's going to be a completely different fight. Look at uh, Izzy. Izzy just waiting for Sean Strickland to overswing so he can counterpunch him. And this is the thing. That's when Dreykus comes forward, he does come forward with his chin up. He throws a double jab right hand and walks forward with his chin up. And if Izzy can uh, take a trick from Sugar Sean's book and punch really accurate, backing up, pushing off your front foot, backing up and punching, which is a hard thing to do. Rare rare people can do it. I feel like Izzy could do it. There's definitely ways for Izzy to win, um, but he's taking on a monster in Dreykus. Just couldn't get Sean Strickland's respect at all. Sean Strickland just ate a shot, come forward, ate a jab, come forward, checked all the kicks, had an answer for all the kicks with that Philly shell style. Left high kick. So this is the end of the first here, I think, where Eaton is just a, a good patient pressure the whole time, cutting him off, not following him around the cage, not following him the whole time, taking one step to the right, one step to the left, cutting him off, making him feel claustrophobic here. So we're at 35 seconds of round one. Strickland still just everyone everyone was waiting for a big shot from from Izzy and for 25 minutes he couldn't find it Strickland steps in with a beautiful 3-2 let's walk this again this is the end of the first this one really really uh made a statement for the rest of the fight cuts him off steps in boom boom simple 3-2 Simple 3-2. Izzy's trying to counter with the left hook, and that two got to him before the left hook came. And Strickland's exploding on him. Has his far hip, and he's just ripping lefts. Boom, 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 boom. This is Sean Strickland in a bar fight, too. He, this is what he'd do to you. Get you against the wall, get you against the uh, uh, and just bust you up. Juicers, nonstop juicers. So, Izzy recovered good. Izzy recovered. That was a clean 3-2. Clean 3-2. Watch Izzy. Watch this again. Izzy will counter with the left hook. Steps to the left hook and the 3-2 finds him. Boom. Beats him to it. Dink, dink. But MMA math, people are like, well, Dreykus is going to win. Dreykus beats Strickland. But again, it was a split decision. MMA math does not work. It's all about styles. It's all about styles. Who's going to show up on that night? Who's going to show up on that night? The most healthy, the most in shape. Um, and the most ready to go. I'm looking forward to it. We got five rounds this Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I'm curious what you guys think below. I, I always do read the comments, and I'm curious who's going to pick it. Who's going to pick it right? Who do you guys got? Dreykus versus Izzy. Main event, UFC 305. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave you with this. Love y'all.